Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Hasibul Quranics. Friends, I received this message. Sir, during power on, there is no voltage available in secondary side. Okay. He said there is no feedback voltage available when the power supply is silent and it is in power on stage. It is in startup phase. In this case, how PWM controller managed to produce secondary voltage because no feedback available at that moment. Can you show the using oscilloscope? Yes. I replied to the comment, but I want to share this discussion with my community. So let's see it. So let's see some examples. If we see this design, when there is no voltage available in the output side, we have just only voltage in primary side, side at this capacitor. After this capacitor, the first starting pin, that is this resistor, it is 68 kilo ohm. Most of the time, it is in kilo ohms, 68 kilo ohms. 100 kilo ohm, even 1 mega ohm. So it is called startup resistor or it is called VSTR. When there is no switching, nothing at all, this line will enable, this pin will enable this IC to make switching. How it will make switching? It will start this ground line. It will connect this ground line to the positive side. To the primary of this transformer. So this startup resistor will give a soft start voltage to turn on this IC. So this IC will make switching. Due to this switching, magnetic field will build up in the primary. So we will take voltage in secondary and we will take VCC voltage from auxiliary winding. When the voltage will build up in this winding, in this capacitor rectified and build up in this capacitor at that time the feedback voltage will arrive to make a regulation feedback is used for regulation first it will start switching then it will take vcc voltage to manage the under voltage over voltage to determine the load voltage load current but the output regulation will accomplished by this feedback network. So regulation is at the last end. First it will take soft start, then it will come in running mode by this VCC voltage and after that it will maintain its duty cycle to regulate the voltage. In this design we have two resistors, 100K, 100K, two resistors in series and it is applied to startup pin. It is TNY switch. This IC will take startup voltage from this pin, from this line. If we see this design, this is 3844 design. Here it is 220K resistor. 220K resistor. This resistor is used to give startup voltage to VCC voltage. Initial VCC voltage it will take from this pin. And after that, when this IC will start switching, to this MOSFET it will start pulses and this MOSFET will switch at that time it will take VCC voltage from this winding from these components and this voltage will reach at VCC voltage. so we can see we have VCC from two different paths the first path that is startup path when this IC will take VCC voltage this IC will start switching when it will start switching at soft start mode, then it will take a VCC voltage for smooth running. And after that, it will take this feedback signal for regulating the voltage to adjust the duty cycle. So, first step, second step, and third step is feedback. In power supply is turning on, first step is soft start. Then we have VCC voltage. So this VCC voltage will replace the startup voltage because startup voltage have very little current. After that, this voltage will used 
to replace this VCC voltage and this IC will shift in a running mode startup mode running mode and after that there is a regulation section feedback section so this optocoupler sometime it connects ground level through the feedback pin and some ICs need VCC voltage positive voltage to switch at feedback pin because 3844 series ICs take positive voltage as a feedback if we check this TNY switch TNY263 series so from DC line we have 1 mega and 1 mega two resistors 1 mega 1 mega and series and it is applied to enable pin so this enable pin is working same as startup pin in first stage this resistor network will allow this circuit to work as a soft start mode and some ICs they don't need an external startup voltage so this, uh, these ICs like uh, wiper ICs they take from the drain pin as a VCC chip voltage so chip voltage will provide it from the pin which is connected to the transformer so this IC will take VCC voltage for the chip from its drain pin in first startup phase it will take voltage from this transformer winding and this voltage will reach inside the IC and this chip will enable by this voltage and after that when this IC will start switching this MOSFET internal MOSFET and it will drive this transformer so that time it will take voltage from this auxiliary winding to VDD pin so it have an external VDD pin so initial VCC pin VCC startup voltage will arrive from this drain pin and finally when we have output at that time it will enable the feedback network to the feedback pin so here is feedback network error amplifier and feedback pin so it will enable the feedback so feedback is at the third stage first stage is startup second stage is running and third stage is feedback so I hope so this video is informative for you if it is informative give a thumb up if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button thanks for watching assalamu alaikum wa